Some of my favorite memories are of my friends and I making crazy masterpieces around the house with things we collected. So in the spirit of that, I found some bottle caps and I'm gonna make myself some art. friend Erin to see if she might be interested in a little project. You only had to say the words bottle cap art and I came running. Well, superstar, today we're making a two foot by four foot sign that says lake because hey, who doesn't love drinking soda by the lake when it's warm outside? To make this particular bottle cap piece of art, you'll need approximately 200 bottle caps, a two foot by four foot piece of MDF. That means medium density fiberboard, some paint, a paint roller, a paintbrush, a hot melt glue gun, a pencil, and some really pretty scissors. And some letters that we had blown up at the local copy store. So first, the stencil. <laughs> it's pretty fun, right? <laughs> so I went to my computer and I blew up an aerial letter set as big as I could get them just to completely fill the page. And I love computers, I love fonts, I love letters. All really good, right? Yeah. Except here's the snag. It's just not big enough to get two bottle caps right next to each other on the letters. I could have done one, but that seems really wimpy and I just wanted it to look good. So I went to my local print shop, blew them up to 11 by 17 and bam, snag addressed. Okay, so now we're gonna cut out each of our letters to make our stencils. This is great. I mean, I feel like it would be really hard to find a stencil this scale at a local craft store and it would definitely cost more than a few sheets of paper. I know, right? Anytime I can save money and do it myself, I feel like it's a win. Now that we have our stencil letters traced and figured out, it's time to come up with the base. I'm using MDF because it's super strong and sturdy. Voila! <laughs> I love that we have this cut to size at the hardware store so we didn't have to do anything. This is two foot by four foot, it's perfect. So in order for all those pretty vintage bottle caps to look good, they need a contrast color behind them that's really gonna make them pop. So I picked a nice dusty blue. Do you trust me? Completely. Before you move on to the letters, allow your paint to dry all the way. Don't get impatient. It's gotta be all the way dry. Now that the paint is nice and dry, let's lay out our letters. Make sure you're happy with where they're placed and then all you have to do is just trace the letters. Now use a paintbrush and just carefully paint your letters with your contrasting paint color. Here we're using white. With a project like this, it really helps to make a plan. Lay out your bottle caps and make sure you like how they look. Then you can organize the fun colors and the cool ones too. Whenever I see a hot milk glue gun, I feel that way. We have a lot to do now that we laid them all out and we like where all the special ones are. It's just a serious glue game. The second you've added a bead of glue all around the edge of the bottle cap, you want to press the cap straight onto your letter. Now, keep repeating until you have all the letters filled in. This looks so good. I love the scale of this project and how easy it is. Also, I feel like somebody drank a lot of soda to get ready for this project. Cherry sodas. <laughs> <laughs>